Obviously, we're here because of a tragedy. We got eight dead people. Um, now, as you've heard the lieutenant already tell you, they're doing their investigation, and I'm here to assure you they are the best in this United States, the Florida Highway Patrol. They do an outstanding job. Breaking news now at four. A bus filled with people coming from Immokalee is hit by a pickup truck, sending it off the road, slamming into a fence, then colliding with a tree, causing it to roll killing eight people and injuring nearly 40 others. Today, the owner of the bus company, Overa Trucking Corps, confirmed to us that the 53 farm workers on the bus were coming from Immokalee. I'm Amanda Hall. And I'm Russ McCaskey. Right now, the Florida Highway Patrol is lead investigator on this case, and troopers had this to say. Conducting a massive traffic homicide investigation, we have a uh, full team and then some here on the scene. This will be a very long and lengthy and thorough investigation. Now, Wink News reporter Michelle Alvarez joins us live in Immokalee. So, Michelle, what have you learned about this? Russ, the owner of Oliveira Trucking, tells us the bus is from Immokalee. It was carrying 53 farm workers to a job site from where they were staying in Gainesville. It happened around 6 a.m. 6 a.m. after it collided with a truck in Marion County, about 80 miles north of Orlando. Investigators say that bus swerved off State Road 40, a straight but somewhat hilly two-lane road that passes through farms, and the bus crashed through a fence and ended up on its side in a field. Eight people died at the scene, eight are in critical condition, and there are 30 other with injuries. The workers were going to Cannon Farms to harvest watermelons and they posted on their Facebook saying we will be close today out of respect to the losses and injuries endured early this morning in the accident that took place to the Oliveira Trucking Harvesting Corporation. Please pray with us for the families and the loved ones involved in this tragic accident. We appreciate your understanding at this difficult time. My heart goes out to them. All right? I, I've worked many fatalities in my career. And it, this is the death that you do not expect from your family members. This is the death that is a shock to you. And it's going to be hard on them. And rightfully so, because they just lost a loved one. My heart pleads for them. My heart goes out to them. I did some research and found that vehicle crashes were the job were the leading cause for job related deaths back in 2022 after they accounted for 81 of 171 fatalities. I'm live in Immokalee, Michelle Alvarez, Wink News.